Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. I hope you are all well, staying home and staying safe. Well, here she is, the Griffin Audio Diablo 300 integrated amplifier. And she is a beauty and she is a beast in more ways than one. I'm filming this introduction video in here in my main review listening room purely because the Diablo 300 is so heavy I don't dare put it on my office desk to film this video in, in kind of nicer, lighter surroundings. Bear in mind, I'm filming what essentially is a pitch black product in what is essentially a pitch black room. So bear with me, I'm doing the best I can from a visual point of view. Now I dare say the majority of you are already familiar and aware of who Griffin Audio designs are as a company, but for those of you who are not, here is a little bit of background. The Griffin have been in business since 1985 and they are based in Denmark. The name, the Griffin, was chosen to represent unlimited power with graceful ease. Now what's interesting about that is, before I started to do the research to put this video together, I would have said the Diablo 300 is like a cross between a ballerina with the strength of a bodybuilder, but we'll talk more about that in the future. As a company, Griffin manufacture pretty much everything. Amplifiers, pre-amplifiers, CD players, DACs, speakers, and even their own cables and accessories. Now, I don't think it's unfair to say that the majority of the Griffin designs are very masculine. They're very uh, manly. And this also feels like a surreal statement to make that this Griffin Diablo 300, this big amplifier, is actually a small amplifier from Griffin. Now there is a smaller one in the Diablo 120, but from here, the amplifiers from Griffin, the Antillion and the Mephisto get much, much bigger. Now interestingly, Griffin have just released the Essence range of products and those are very, very interesting for three reasons. The first is the form factor, the second reason is their price, and the third reason is, I'll just say, Class A. The Essence series costing about £30,000 for a pre and power duo is going to be too much money for a lot of audio files, despite the obvious appeal of those products, but that is where the Diablo 300 really comes in and starts to get really interesting and exciting and starts to make a hell of a lot of sense. Now I'm sure somebody told me that the Griffin Diablo 300 is the best selling high-end integrated amplifier across the whole market, across the whole world, which is very, very interesting considering its price, which is currently of making this video here in the UK, 13,600 pounds. So it's you know, a serious amount of money for a hi-fi component and a very serious amount of money for a, an integrated amplifier, but is it? Is it really? Because it's comparable to something like a Luxman M700U pre and power combination or other products around that sort of price and caliber and level. And yet when you listen to the Diablo 300, <laughs> but there'll be more on that coming in the future, as I mentioned. At this point, I want to say thanks very much to Nintronics, the excellent hi-fi and AV dealership in Hertfordshire, because they have loaned me this sample for review. And what I will say is, I've been dying to spend some time with this amplifier since the first time I saw it in their showroom. And I've got to hold my hands up. The last time I was there, I pretty much bundled the Diablo 300 into my car and brought it back for this review. And it just so happens that shortly after the UK got locked down, didn't it? So I'm pretty much stuck with the Diablo 300 now for a reasonable period of time, which is obviously a terrible shame. And I'll openly hold my hands up that having this amplifier here is making this whole situation a hell of a lot more bearable. I'm sure some of you will still be skeptical about how an amplifier or an integrated amplifier, especially can cost or be worth 13,600 pounds. And looking at it, you can see a lot of nice metal work, can't you? And metal work costs money. So that's obviously where some of the value and some of the cost goes into. But to really appreciate this integrated amplifier, you need to take off the lid and you need to take a look inside. That's because looking inside is very eye-opening and ultra reassuring at the same time and in so many ways. Those troidial transformers, I think there must be two of them stacked 
are absolutely huge. The girth and the general size of them, that's just another level of Troidial Transformer. And I think they likely account for the lion's share of the weight of this amplifier. And then there are capacitors, more capacitors, and guess what? Even more capacitors and Sanken transistors. It's just awesome inside. The build quality is phenomenal. Everything feels and just looks over-specified, over-built, built to last, and seriously impressive high quality workmanship and build quality. And I mentioned in specification that Diablo 300 has a very long and standout list. Power being one of them, 300 watts at eight ohms, 600 watts at four ohms, and 950 watts into two ohms. It's a zero negative feedback design and there's just more and there is even more. So this is one serious piece of hi-fi kit. And this particular model also has an internal DAC and phono stage installed, which you can see inside its own enclosure. Now these modules can be added at a later date and I'm pretty sure they must be removable if you don't want to use them down the line. Adding these to the Diablo 300 pushes the price up to nearly £20,000. All in all, at least from an initial impressions point of view, the Diablo 300 is hugely impressive. It just inspires confidence, you know, literally from the moment it breaks your back the first time you try and pick it up. So I hope this video has got you just that little bit more interested, that little bit more excited to find out more about the Griffin Audio Diablo 300 integrated amplifier because <laughs> it is an absolute corker. In fact, I don't want to say too much, but already it's opened my eyes to what an amplifier can do, what an amplifier can deliver, and especially an amplifier with this much power, when that power is used well, just what that can add to the presentation of a hi-fi system. <laughs> I cannot wait to demonstrate it to you, but that's all coming, and it's going to be a little bit of a delay, and there's a reason for that delay. All method in the madness, but it'll be worth the wait, I can assure you. So I hope this video has been fun and interesting and enjoyable, and I hope it's got you that just, again, that little bit more interested to find out more about this amplifier. Again, thanks to Nintronics, thanks to Griffin as well, obviously, for you know agreeing to obviously this review. And yeah, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.